Hi, my name is Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blog 12 straight years every day. Today I'd like to share Genesis 44 verses 24 to 34. Here's the word of God. When we went back to your servant, my father, we told him the words of my Lord. And when our father said, go again, buy us a little food, we said, we cannot go down. If our youngest brother goes with us, then we will go down. For we cannot see the man's face unless your youngest brother is with us. Then your servant, my father, said to us, you know that my life that my wife bore me two sons. One left me, and I said, Surely he has been torn to pieces, and I have never seen him since. If you take this one also from me, and harm happens to him, you will bring down my gray hairs in evil to Sheol. Now, therefore, as soon as I come to your servant, my father, and the boy is not with us, then as is as his life is bound up in the boy's life, as soon as he sees that the boy is not with us, he will die, and your servants will bring down the gray hairs of your servant, our father, with sorrow to Sheol. For your servant became a pledge of safety for the boy to my father, saying, If I do not bring him back to you, then I shall bear the blame before my father all my life. Now therefore, please let your servant remain instead of the boy as a servant to my Lord, and let the boy go back with his brothers. For how can I go back to my father if the boy is not with me? I fear to see the evil that would find my father. Genesis 44, 24-34 Here's a poem I wrote inspired by those verses. Judah interceded for Benjamin. When the silver cup was found in Benjamin's sack, Judah talked to Joseph. Judah interceded for his brother and pleaded for Benjamin's release. He offered his own service to Joseph in place of his youngest brother. He explained to Joseph how it would kill their father if he didn't come home. Here's my essay. Judah surprised us here in this account. When Joseph tested them and placed the silver cup in Benjamin's sack, it was likely to examine their hearts. After years have gone by, he wondered if they also treated Benjamin with such envy, just like they treated him in his youth. But we see a changed heart in Judah in this scene when he interceded for his youngest brother for the sake of his father's life and also for his family's lives. He was willing to offer his own service to be servant of Joseph in place of Benjamin. He exuded the love for a brother and his father's well-being. Reflection. What do you think Judah mean, meant when he said verse 34? And verse 34 says, for how can I go back to my father if the boy is not with me? I fear to see the evil that would find my father. He expressed his fear of, um, of killing his father from so much grief, uh, losing his son, his other son again. But... It is interesting how uh, Judah, if you recall in the story in Genesis 37 when he was sold to slavery, it was the idea of Judah to sell Joseph to slavery when he saw the Ishmaelites come by. Um, it, didn't, uh, it didn't mention which of the brothers actually uh, plotted to kill Joseph, but we know that Judah... Uh, was telling his brothers, why would we put blood in our hands, uh, so why don't we just sell him to the, to the Ishmaelites? And so, in a way, he saved Joseph's life. And also Reuben was doing his best to um, try and save Joseph from being killed. 
So we know that it's not Reuben and it's not Judah. But it's interesting how it is in the tribe of Judah that our Lord Jesus Christ comes from. From the side of Mary and from the side of Joseph, they both came from the tribe of Judah. So uh, the prophecy that the line of Judah, who is Jesus, will be coming from the tribe of Judah. So in here, we see how Judah interceded for Benjamin. It's almost like a foreshadowing of uh, what Jesus would be interceding for the whole mankind to his father, for the sake of his father's uh, you know, appeasement of his wrath on people. So we see that God chose the tribe of Judah out of the 12 tribes of Israel to be where uh, David came from, where Jesus comes from. And it's interesting that it's in the lineage of Paris, Paris who is uh, the son of Tamar and his father-in-law, her father-in-law, so meaning it is a sinful um, offspring that God chose to bring Jesus from. That's so interesting because um, it shows how God can do anything and in his plan, he uses all kinds of sinners and all kinds of people. In other words, his power of mercy is actually shown when he chose the tribe of Judah to be where the Lord Jesus Christ would be coming from. Thanks for watching. I hope you had a good Easter. Um, today is the 1st of April and um, it is so good to recognize how our Lord Jesus Christ uh, died for all of our sins so that we could be saved and that we could have a close righteousness relationship with the Lord with our Heavenly Father. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. Please subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I can make more videos and give you the Word of God. If you haven't already, check over 3,000 videos I've done. This 12 years I've been doing this daily. Just type on Google search Ilma's Palm Devotional or in YouTube search. Thanks for watching.